What's up, strugglers? So everybody and their dog knows that smoking is bad for them. I don't think you could even find like one single person in the entire country that doesn't know that. And yet, so many people still smoke. Why? I don't know. I live in North Dakota and we have this thing called Breathe ND. It's like an anti-smoking campaign that is always running on TV and they have like pamphlets all, all over the place. But their whole mission is to like raise awareness of the dangers of smoking. I'm not gonna claim to know why people smoke, but Breathe ND seems to think they've found the answer. What they say is that slick advertising is what's causing people to smoke. Slick advertising that appeals to youth? Slick advertising. Oh baby, you're just walking around and you see that tobacco ad and you're just like, Oh, fill my lungs with that cancer. It's so slick that it's causing people to kill themselves. So I don't know if it's like up and running anymore, but when Breathe ND was like really pushing this, this message, they had a lot of TV commercials. And I wanna look at those today because some of them are pretty silly. I'm not saying that their message is wrong. I'm not saying that what they're saying is incorrect, but the way that they go about it is just kind of silly to me. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. It smells like Breathe. What do you like about that? It's pink. And it's all shiny and wet. It has a picture on it. Tobacco companies spend billions on new ways to introduce kids to nicotine. Like these kids are just gonna see this packaging. They're like five years old. The kids are gonna see the packaging. They're gonna walk into that gas station and they're like, you know, I saw that, that shiny red pack of Marlboros back there. That's, I think that's the one that I want. Yeah, yeah, hook me up with those. The packaging can be as like kid-friendly as possible, but as soon as you put that in your mouth, you're gonna realize that it's not something that you like. I just can't picture a kid opening up a pack of cigarettes and being like, Mmm, grape flavored. Introduce kids to nicotine with new products and candy-like packaging. It would take them about 0.5 seconds to realize that it's not actually candy. <laughs> Nicotine is a highly addictive and toxic drug that is harmful to our youth. Jeez, kid. That kid is judging me and I don't even smoke. But a new law brings us one step closer to protecting North Dakota's kids. Put self-service sale displays for any nicotine or tobacco product out of reach. <laughs> Because we all know how big of bargain hunters children are. They see that buy two get one free sign and they're just like, ah, oh, I gotta have it. That lifetime of addiction starts with the buy two get one free sign. <laughs> she was really considering it. She's like, huh, hmm, yeah, well, well, it is buy two get one free. When you have a hole in your neck, don't face the shower head. I'm pretty sure this was like a national commercial. Uh, because it's way too high of quality to be produced in North Dakota. And also, this man is from Washington, so you may have actually seen this one before. Clean out your speech valve twice a day. Oh, I hate that. I hate seeing that. It's so gross. Is your child replaceable? Tobacco companies think so. Smoking kills people, and for every person it kills, tobacco companies have to find a replacement. I mean, yeah, but... That's the same with every single company ever. Like Charmin toilet paper, they've got all these customers, right? Sometimes they die, they need new customers. So they target kids. In fact, tobacco will kill one in three kids who start smoking. I'm not saying that's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not saying that's not true, but it's really misleading. It's not killing kids, they're old when they die. It takes a long time for smoking to actually kill you. So one in three kids are dying? I, I, no, I'm not trying to say that this is a bad message. We can stand up to big tobacco and protect our kids. Raising the price of tobacco and getting rid of slick advertising that appeals to youth. Kids just love a good cigarette ad. I'm 22, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a tobacco ad anywhere. You, they can't put them on TV, so kids aren't seeing it there. And they wouldn't be getting it online because your ads online are based off of like cookies and why would a kid be looking up tobacco stuff online? So the only place that they could even really see it would be in a magazine, which kids don't read magazines. Or maybe like in a gas station like this girl when she was she was really convinced by that buy two get one free deal. But I don't, I really don't think that kids are seeing tobacco advertising as much as Breathe ND wants you to think that they are. Tobacco companies are always finding DVDs ways to introduce young people to tobacco with new products and candy-like packaging 
That was the hand of a six-year-old. What is she even gonna do with that? She's not gonna even know what to do with that. Ooh, what's this? Strawberry? Ooh. Opens it up, it looks like a nasty, long, brown firework or something. I don't think, I think that would stop her right there. I wouldn't go any further with this brown firecracker, okay? I, w I, was, I wouldn't put that in my mouth. Another thing that I noticed is that all of these kids are like by themselves, like sneaking away from all of their parents and like trying this, this nicotine product. Smoking is like a social problem, right? Most of the time, kids aren't just gonna start smoking behind their parents' backs. They're gonna do it because like their friend told them to do it or they were pressured into doing it. Or maybe their parents are smokers and they're like, hey, I see mom and dad doing it. Maybe I'll try this. It's not like some rebellious thing where kids go and, and, they, and they find cigarettes somewhere, they find a strawberry flavored cigar and they hide away in this open field and they're just like, Two. This year, 77,000 Minnesota kids will use tobacco. This is a cool commercial. I think a lot of people have probably seen this. This is probably another national one. This one is cool. I like this one. It's got a good message. I give it Scott's stamp of approval, baby. Okay, that's $564 for the cigarette. Plus 86 cents for the schluppy. Dude, I'm just getting the schluppy. I didn't buy any cigarettes. Don't matter. Everybody pays, you still pay. Yeah, but dude, I don't even smoke. Dude, I don't either. You still pay. Uh, dude, let's get the most unlikable people for this commercial and people are gonna love it. Yeah, no, I still not paying, I still pay. I remember every time this commercial came on, my mom would change the channel because these two people annoyed her so much. And it, and it made me want to smoke, so. That's messed up! Who doesn't know that smoking is dangerous? Taxpayers paid for these commercials. It's like PSA about something that everybody knows about already. All right, everybody, we need a PSA because not very many people know that apples are actually a fruit. Um, crazy, I know, but we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to set aside a couple of million dollars in the state budget for, for this campaign about letting people know that apples are fruits. So are we all on board with that? Yes, show of hands, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run the apple commercial this year. So I said this before, I don't think I've ever seen a real t like tobacco cigarette ad anywhere. It's not this rampant problem is that everywhere you look you're seeing an ad for cigarettes. But there is like this weird double standard because yes, I, cigarettes are very dangerous and they will probably kill you, okay? They're really bad for you. But you know what else is really bad for you? Diet Coke. But here's a celebrity endorsement right here. Life is short. If you want to live in a yurt, yurt it up. If you want to run a marathon, I mean that sounds super hard, but okay. I mean, just do you. Just do you. Dump that poison into your body and just die young. If you wanna smoke, just do you, man. Just do you. And if you're in the mood for a Diet Coke, have a Diet Coke. If you're in the mood to double fist cigarettes, just double fist cigarettes. One thing that I'm starting to realize though is I never see tobacco ads, but the only time I ever actually like have seen cigarettes and cigars and stuff is in these Breathe ND commercials. It's almost like they're subtly advertising for these tobacco companies. Just hear me out, you're a 14 year old kid. You're never in a position to see a tobacco ad because you're not reading magazines, you're not falling for the two for one deal at the gas station, and they're not on TV. The only time you would realistically see tobacco products is when you're watching Breathe ND commercials. And they really are making it sound good too. They're like, oh, look at this candy-like packaging. Look at this strawberry flavored cigar. Look at these e-cigarettes. They feel good in your lungs. Ooh, kids would love that. We gotta make sure kids don't see these ads. We gotta make sure kids don't see these ads. Kids, hey kids, don't watch these ads. Hey kids, don't buy these products, kids. I don't know, maybe there's a conspiracy to be had there. My brother made a good point though. It could stop somebody who's gonna do like chew, because a lot of people probably don't understand how harmful that is. Um, so the anti like chew tobacco ones, I don't have a problem with those. What I do think is happening though, is kids are looking at these celebrities that they idolize who are avid smokers, like Post Malone. Hey, you guys happy? There it is, I talked about Post Malone again. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. But that man is smoking all the time and he kind of makes it look cool. <laughs> I hate to say that. He kind of makes it look cool. And look at these sexy pictures of Cole Sprouse. I mean, who doesn't want to, oh, baby. I think slick advertising is the least of our problems when it comes to kids smoking. And I think the fact that we spent so many taxpayer dollars on these Breathe ND commercials is just 
How wasteful can we be? Just for the record, these are fake. These are not real, they're prop cigarettes. Uh, this video is actually sponsored by Party City. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I think that's all I got for you this time. I don't really have much more to say on this. Don't smoke, okay? I know most of you are like old enough to have made that decision for yourself already, but if you're young and I just don't smoke. I know a lot of smokers and I've had people close to me die because of it, so just don't do it. It's not a smart thing to do. But anyway, that's all I got for you. I think I already said that. If you like what I do here, you can subscribe. If you want more exclusive content, you can head over to my Patreon. A $1 pledge can get you all the content on there. I'm gonna be putting up exclusive videos, music, all kinds of stuff on there. So if you wanna get access to that, $1 is all it takes. Big shout out to Jimmy for being a subscriber. I didn't even realize that until recently, but you've been subscribed for a while. That's pretty sick. Still struggling, but at least we're struggling together. Anyway, I love you guys. Don't smoke, and I will talk to you again very soon. Goodbye. I've been thinking all about you since we first met. And I confess that I can't help myself. I can't get that smile out of my head.